بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so next thing we'll quickly jump into the uh, trunking lab so what i'll do is i'll try to add these two devices here on this side and we'll try to add the and connect the computers here okay and also we'll move on with the trunking labs here so i hope i can uh, duplicate this uh, i hope because the devices are started so we need to make sure that we stop the devices uh, when the device has started so either i need to stop and duplicate or i can drag and drop uh, these things so what should i do so let's go to preferences and let's see if i already have this i will you so i will you i'm going to duplicate this anyway i have saved the configuration so i don't need to do anything anyway the ips we need to configure so we can go with the host so on the switch side make sure that you save the configurations because when you're adding uh, plenty of devices then probably duplicate option is something you can use this is a switch to and i need to add the vpcs so i'm going to start the devices here i'm going to start the devices here switch to and then we also need the vpcs here and make sure that this vpc is running on the vm so we need to differentiate that so this device i don't need this device so i'm going to connect now the similar kind of ports for easy differentiation e0 by 1 and then e0 by 2 and then e1 by 1 and e1 by 2 so e1 by 1 and e1 by 2 now these are the four devices which will be in the vlan 10 and the, these two devices in the vlan 20 and i'm going to start the switch to and we'll try to console that on the switch to as well in the meantime we'll also start these other devices and also we'll try to get into the console of these devices the pc5678 and we'll quickly go ahead and configure the ip so the ip is same as the pcs which is pc5 and 6 now the 5 and 6 ip address is going to be 1.1 1.2 1.3 right 1.3 if you go back to the topology so this is 1.3 and 1.4 so i have to select these ips now this is going to be 1.4 okay now likewise on the other side then the remaining last two devices the pc7 and 8 we have to give the 2 dot subnet which is going to be 2.1 2.2 2.3 and then we have 2.4. So I have to give 2.4. So again, you can see 2.4 is an IP address and they are connecting to the switch. And normally the communication process within the same VLAN should work. Now again, we'll go to the switch to site. On the switch to, I'm going to configure the basic things, like I said. We'll create the VLAN 10 and then the VLAN 20. And we'll assign the ports like interface E, E0 by 1 to 2, switch port mode access, and then switch port access VLAN 10. And likewise, I'm going to assign the port E1 by 1 and those two ports, the other side in the VLAN 20. So it says switch port mode access and then the switch port access VLAN, VLAN 20. We'll save the configurations when you say show vlan we should see this particular ports in the vlan 10 and the vlan 20 and if you want to quickly verify the reachability so i can still i can communicate with 1.4 so i must be getting a reply from 1.4 but i'm not getting a reply from 1.1 because we did not uh, establish any connectivity here right if you see so these two are connected but there is no bridge or there's no trunking configured here which is something we'll be doing that but as of now, 1.1 and 1.2 will not be able to communicate unless and until you have the cable connecting between them and then the trunking configurations. Okay, so similar way, we will try to verify quickly with 2.4. So I should have reachability to 2.4. The reply is coming here, right? Now, uh, once we set up this, we will be going and configuring the trunking configuration. 
So for that trunking, we need to have a link, at least minimum one link. Uh, for redundancy purpose, we will add multiple links. But here, I'm just using the one link minimum. I'm using E0 by 0, which is connecting between, between them. So in my topology, again, this is this topology, as I said, the IPs, the ports, and all is based on the packet tracer. I'm just trying to change them to this one. So there will be a slight change in the ports. So what I have to do, I have to go and configure the switch one and switch two. So I have to go ahead and configure the switch one and the switch two where the trunk is. So I'm going to say E0 by zero, uh, switch port more trunk, uh, switch port trunk encapsulation dot one queue. So again, as I said, in some of the switches, uh, you have to use encapsulation command before and before you start uh, switch port trunk encapsulation dot one queue, that's a command you have to use and then switch port mode trunk. Because the default port mode will be auto, which means it's a kind of auto encapsulation kind of thing, which is something uh, not work. When you're, when you're changing to uh, manual trunking, you need to also make sure that the encapsulation is manually defined. So that's how it is. Uh, that's a kind of a differences you'll find in different platforms. So once we are done with this, I need to go on the switch to as well. I have to do the same thing on both the sides. We'll say switch port trunk encapsulation dot one two and switch port mode trunk. Now, once you are done with the trunk configuration, so what I did, I have configured this a link connecting between a switch to switch as a trunk link. And we can do the verification as show interface trunk. You can see this interface is trunk link and the same verifications. And now if you go back to the PC one and verify the reachability to one dot, you know, like one dot three, which is on a different machine, I'm getting a reply. And even I can ping to one dot four as well. So the end result is we should have communication between these two, right? The same VLANs after, after config the trunking. And likewise, we should have the reachability between these two, right? So that's what we are trying to verify. A similar way, I'll go to PC3 and verify the reachability to 2.network devices, which is on a different switch, 2.3, and as well as 2.4, which will provide the end-to-end -end reachability. Now, this is something uh, trunking a uh, lab, what we are doing. We are trying to set up the same thing. The only difference is these are in the VLAN 10, VLAN 10, and then the VLAN 20 and the VLAN 20 here. 